Georgette Niembo always wanted to have a big family. Since I was small, I used to say that I'm going to have an orphanage. If someone asked me, how many kids are you going to have? I used to say 100. Then people, 100 kids. <laughs> Today, she has 54 children who call her mama. I feel I'm a mom. I know each child, and I know each child's need. They live together at this children's home, which is supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. Their house is high on a hill in the outskirts of Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo. While the children had food, clothing, and shelter, they lacked one basic necessity. You know, water is life. Getting water was so difficult, it made me sick. Every day after school, Genevieve and the other children went in groups to get water. The trip down took more than half an hour. The place where we got water was deep in a valley at the bottom of a tall mountain. In the valley, filthy water collected in a hand-dug hole in the mud. They filled their jugs one by one. Then the children faced the long walk home. That trip took more than an hour as they climbed uphill carrying their heavy loads. By the time I got home, I was so tired I felt sick and I couldn't do anything else. Sometimes kids are not coming back home after school because they just say, okay, when I'll go back home, then they'll send me for water. Let me just walk around. And walking around, they are catching other habits, meeting other bad friends who do not like also to go home. What they needed was a deep well, but there's barely enough electricity in their area to power a light bulb. They knew that with God's help, there must be a way. So every day, they asked God for a miracle. We prayed, truly. God saw that there was a real problem, and he answered us. CBN, in partnership with Innovation Africa and the Alliance for Global Good, dug the well. Nearly 500 feet deep, and installed an array of solar panels to power the pump. The day of the dedication was a huge celebration. Well, it felt like a party. <laughs> it was just like putting end to one type of life and getting born into a new life. I was so happy and so proud to have clean water. I felt like a heavy burden had been taken away from me. Innovation Africa is an Israeli NGO founded by Sivan Yari. She studied solar technology at Columbia University and installed her first solar-powered well in Tanzania as a student project. Fast forward six years after, uh, we are lucky that we have installed solar energy in 81 villages. Technology developed in Israel has helped tens of thousands of people in Africa. Once you realize how simple is it, to help others. You have to help everybody that you're seeing around. This partnership with CBN and Alliance for Global Good and Innovation Africa, the Jewish value, Christian values coming together, this is really what a really good partnership should be like. And I'm happy that we're doing it now. And hopefully we can help many more orphans and people around Africa. Besides providing more than enough drinking water for the children and the rest of the community, the well supports a drip irrigation system. In an area where it's difficult to grow much of anything, the drip irrigation system allows the kids here to reap a small harvest practically every day. The tomatoes make our food taste so good, and Mama doesn't have to spend any money to buy them. Nine-year-old Genevieve is a very bright girl, and now that she doesn't have to go get water every day, she's doing great in school. After school, I have time to rest and do my homework. It just brings so much joy to see your own kids living like real people. Because carrying water for me is not living like a person in this century. It's just like walking backward. Today, even the littlest kids can help out with water. The joy that you see in the face of the kids when they're seeing for the first time clean water coming out from a tap so easily. So all of the joys that we're seeing today, I believe it's something that will change the way that they are living. The solar panels also support a wireless transmitter that monitors the whole system. With it, an agronomist or engineer in Kinshasa, Israel, or New York can see when the system breaks down and send someone local out to repair it. 
This simple system will be reliable for years or generations to come. And it's a system that's changing lives. Kids are going to school. They want to be educated. They are healthier. They have clean water. They are clean. You go back after three months, they have food. The extra food is sold in the market. They get money. With the money, the women, they buy cows, they buy chickens, they create businesses, and you see economic development. Because of a few solar panels and water, you're able to provide better education, better health, economic development, future, life, opportunities. Georgette understands what this well means for the future of her children. This is a starting point. God knows them, and God is going far with them. Thank you for everything. We, really th we are thankful. And my prayer is always that if you help us, help the kids, then they should see God's hand differently so that they believe that here there's a God. Let God bless them and let them always be available for God to use them. Genevieve just knows that she doesn't have to walk down the mountain anymore for bad water. She has good food, time to study, and clean water right next to her house. This is a year of God's blessing. We used to be missing a lot of important things, but not anymore. We have water and tomatoes and more food than we ever have before. I pray that God will bless the people who helped us.